What's up, guys? Welcome back to The Vault. I'm back for another review uh, a couple of days after the last one, not a week after. So, uh, yeah, there we are. And my review today will be for Mile 22. Let's just jump straight into it. Uh, this one opens with a special ops team carrying out a mission that very quickly goes south. Uh, there's a great cast for this one. Um, Mark Wahlberg, who I'm not usually a huge fan of, actually quite surprised me in this. Uh, he plays our main character, uh, Jimmy Silver, who seems to suffer from seems to suffer from some sort of uh, bipolar autistic kind of disorder, and Wahlberg actually conveys it so well. Um, there's also Lauren Cohan, uh, who gives a fierce performance as one of Silver's comrades, and who also doesn't take any of his shit. Um, but and last but not least, and probably the main reason I wanted to see this film. I call you Ace, and I'm definitely pronouncing that name wrong, so I really apologise again, uh, who not only had my jaw in my lap for the Raid films, but he was also absolutely spectacular in this. Um, the story is intense and thrilling with uh, shots of action uh, injected throughout. Uh, it paces perfectly and doesn't feel rushed uh, in the slightest. Um, the story is so strong uh, because our ops team must face one hurdle after another pretty much from the get-go and it never lets up it never slows down and this is never this isn't really anything new in terms of, of structure for a film but it's it's damn entertaining um and thanks to you ace the action is heart pumping and absolutely uh, brutal um and any any scene where he is having hand-to-hand -hand combat is perfectly choreographed and so satisfying to watch. Uh, and the action works so well because of him, and I'm so happy he came aboard uh, for this film. Um, I mean, if you haven't seen, you know, the the two Raid films, and I highly recommend that you do because they are absolutely ph uh, phenomenal. Um, also have to, you know, kind of mention the director, Peter Berg. Uh, this seems to be his... Um, kind of first this seems to be a first major kind of directing project for him and he honestly doesn't disappoint uh his directing style is quick uh, and snappy um with cuts and shots that play out the part the play out the story perfectly um and he's also not adverse to showing us a lot of destruction which i highly appreciated uh also a major shout out uh to the stunt team uh, who honestly went above and beyond for this film. Um, I've always had a lot of respect for stunt performers, and I've always believed that they are integral uh, to making action sequences in films, you know, enjoyable, uh, believable, and top-notch. Um, and the team in this film were nothing but dedicated and professional, uh, professional uh, and entertaining. Um, my only issues with this film, uh, some lines of dialogue were lost uh, in mumbles, weren't really clear, and the overall end twist, you know, was highly predictable. You definitely saw it coming. Other than that, though, I I really really enjoyed this film, uh, and the main lesson I learned from this film is that if I saw Iko Ua, I know I'm pronouncing that name wrong. Uh, walking towards me in a dark alley, I would probably cry and soil myself. So there we have it, guys. That was actually really quite quick. I'm, I'm, I'm impressed with myself. Um, there is my review for Mile 22. Let's just get to the two most important questions. Question number one, would I recommend this film? I would honestly definitely recommend this film. Um, for some reason, uh, as has been happening a lot lately, this film was absolutely panned by critics. It was given such bad reviews. Um, and but don't don't believe the hype. Don't believe what critics are saying. Don't believe what other people are saying. This film is actually generally very very entertaining, um, and actually quite suspenseful in terms of being a thriller, being kind of like a you know like a uh, like a spy thriller, if you will. And so I would definitely recommend it if you if it's still in cinemas. I would definitely go recommend checking it out. Uh, but if it's not, wait till it comes out on general release, on demand, whatever. Definitely give it a watch because it's definitely worth your time. Uh, question number two, does this film belong in the vault? Again, I would definitely say it does. And that's, I'm only putting it in the vault because of UACE, only because of just his insane, just kind of commitment to making, you know, these fight sequences, these action sequences look as insane as they do. And again, if you haven't seen the raid films yet, then I, if you haven't seen the raid films yet, I highly recommend that you do because, oh my God, they are incredible. Um, so I think purely for him, and because he brought such a, a, entertainment factor to the film i'm gonna put this film into the vault there's a little diamond star 
has gone off with a uh, roundhouse kick from UACE into the vault, wherever that is. So there we have it, guys. There's my review for Mile 22. If you've seen this film and you enjoyed it, let me know why down in the comments below. If you've seen it and you didn't like it, again, let me know why down in the comments below. I want this channel to be a discussion. If there's only 22 subscribers, I still want it to be a discussion. Um, and if you like what I'm doing here, guys, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Share this video with your friends, your family, your pets, you know, your, your, your grandparents, whatever. Uh, and until the next one, peace and love, my dudes.